Today we're going to continue talking about how to calculate a probability connected to a z-score. So remember, z-scores are used to measure the number of standard deviations away from the mean you are. And so if I were to remind you of the formula, I have a z-score equals the observed value. minus the mean divided by standard deviation. Now, in the problem that we've been looking at, we're looking at the average uh, college female height, which is 65 inches, and they have a corresponding standard deviation of 2.7 inches. Today, we want to look at the probability of somebody being shorter than me. So my height is 67 inches. So in terms of writing that for the probability of someone, so we're going to write P, the probability of someone having a height less than my height, which is 67 inches. Now, if I want to use that normal distribution to calculate this probability, this particular curve recognizes standardized values and that are in inches, or excuse me, are in units of standard deviation, not inches. And so these curves are centered at zero, the value of the mean. This is measuring the distance from the mean. The mean is zero distance from itself, and so the center of the curve is the mean, or it has a standardized value of zero. So I need to figure out what the standardized value would be for 67. So I'm going to calculate a z-score for that. So that means 67 is my observed value. And I'm going to subtract my mean, which is 65, and divide by 2.7. So this gives me a z-score or a standardized value of 0.74. So now I've just standardized, and x no longer is x, it's z, so we've gone into the standardized value. It's still less than, but here, instead of 67, I'm going to write my standardized value, which is 0.74. So because this is a number line, 0.74 would be approximately here, so it's positive, so it's just a little to the right. I'm interested in the probability of somebody being shorter than myself, so I'm interested in this direction, so the area below 0.74. So we are going to use the calculator's normal CDF function. So remember that that's second and then vars, and then we're doing normal CDF because the Z is connected to the normal curve. And what this wants from you is it wants where the highlighting starts or a lower bound and where the highlighting ends or an upper bound. So for this problem, our highlighting technically would be starting at negative infinity, but because the calculator doesn't have the capability of negative infinity, we're going to type negative 999, and then comma, and then you want to put where the highlighting ends, which is 0.74. Now if your calculator has lower bound, upper bound, and then mu and sigma, we're now talking about the standardized value for mu and sigma, so that would be zero, because that's the distance those values are from the mean. Mu is zero distance from itself. So mu would be zero on your calculator, and sigma would stay one. So then this tells me this area is 0.77, or the probability of me finding a college female shorter than myself is approximately 77%. So this is looking at the area below Z. The next um, video we do will be trying to find the probability of being above Z.